still haven't gotten used to that jazzy new intro. <laughs> but we love it. <laughs> Welcome back to the second round covers, the LVC women's lead card. We're excited to be here on the Innova Champion Discourse today. This is the longest of the three courses, but also my favorite. We get to watch Sarah Hokum, who shredded yesterday in round one, 100% scramble and 100% circle one X. Dang. Uh, that is hot, literally. Another hot round, Paige Bierkus, five under, 100% scramble rate, 82% fairway hits, super good. Yep, it's understandable why they're on the lead card. I got to watch Jen shred the first round, 65% fairway hits and 71% scramble rate. She's right there in the top. Had some missed putts that she would have liked to have back. And Katrina's coming in hot, also under par, at under three. Three down, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> and moving on to hole one. It was windy today. We had, oh, we had some windy conditions. It wasn't snowing, so that's better than the first round, I guess. But <laughs> the wind was really ripping. You're gonna see a lot of flags um, straight out, not unlike this uh, preview video. Hole one's 393, mm -hmm. it's out of bounds on the right-hand side uh, on a sidewalk, and on the left there's some water, but it doesn't really come into play unless you really air one out. Nope. This is a super straightforward first shot, to kind of warm you up on the course here. Yeah, and this is something that these ladies definitely can reach, so um, it would be a pretty stellar birdie, but gettable. Definitely a bonus, being almost 400 feet too. Oof. It's like Hokum early released that. Um, she had her Oof. clean hyzer line, but definitely popped out early. Yeah. Apparently, this is only her third round ever playing in wind with her new MVP disc. Yeah. So she uh, she was nervous. Yeah, I can imagine a lot of adjustments there. Excited to watch Paige Bierkus shred some more. Yeah, Paige has that super smooth backhand. Lost so of power far for such a small body. Yeah. <laughs> She'll have a jump putt. Yeah, it's so hard to get all the way there, but she's definitely got a putt. Jennifer Allen. Nice. Jen has the distance for sure here. So one thing Jen always tells me about wind rounds is uh, on these big golf courses is yes she has distance but she's always worried because sometimes she says that distance will get her into trouble especially when the wind is a factor so she might be uh, playing it safe today and taking some off or she might be going for it we never quite know what we're going to get from yeah her. that's a good point considering there's so much ob over here on this end of a course uh there's always trouble lurking if you if you lose control of your disc and uh with the high winds you have to play a little extra safe Another distance arm in the ladies' field. We'll probably watch, Katrina usually does a lot of hyzer flips. Um, I don't know when the last time was I watched her play in heavy wind, so it'll be interesting to see how her hyzer flip shots fly. Looks like she beefed up for this first shot. Mm -hmm. Kind of a wind tester there, gets way down there. Way down there, wow. Good luck, ladies. Have a good round. We just said the ladies don't usually test the water, but Katrina has no problem getting <laughs> down there. Oh no! Sit. Hokum gets a little bit of a mean roll, which will give her a test her comeback putt, that headwind. Yeah, wow, this Oh no! Oh wow. That is a bummer. That's super unlucky. Yeah, these greens play so fast, and with that wind kind of holding your disc on angle, everything slides around, kind of like in the ice yesterday. Jin running at it super hard. Oof. Yeah, totally. It's fast green here. These um, golf courses have that super slick grass. Yes, Hokum can succumb. Big, back. big bogey putt there. Wait, in a headwind, no problem. Doing a little Annie putt, like the Jessica Weiss Annie putt. Nice, yeah. Cat takes her meter in, saves her Bang. Bogey. With the red coat on. Very impressive. Yeah, the perka I, I learned today. <laughs> the perka is the term. I knew there was a term for it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Right there. Oh, looks like Jen had a little nerves hit. I know she was kind of struggling on the putting green. Um, she was making some great putts, but that's really the only comment she could make after round one was that she wished she was a little more comfortable putting. No doubt. It's tough out here with the, these high winds and these hills. Um, 
There were no birdie twos on this hole to start out. Which is surprising, um, but I guess with that win, not really. But yeah, it says here 81% of the field got a par, so most of the ladies were picking up a three to start their round. Unfortunately, we have a few bogeys, though, on this lead card. Uh, hole two, averaging just over par, is at, coming in the easiest hole today. Um, it's a straightforward hole, 270. It's the shortest hole out here, too, I believe. And probably one of the only tightly wooded fairways. Yeah, definitely. You feel like you're on a park course here. You really have to shape your shot. I really like this hole. Me, too. I love this hole. It's it's a lot of low-hanging branches, so you kind of have to throw a little hyzer flip up the middle. Mm -hmm. You can you can get there with a mid. You'll see a lot of ladies throwing fairways, maybe even drivers. Um, Paige, throw, it looks like she throws a driver, but softly, which was going to work out really nicely. Super good shot. Wonder what she's throwing there. I've been trying to ask around and learn people's discs so we can give you guys a little more information, but it is hard to remember all these discs. Yeah, <laughs> we'll try to investigate. Yeah. Hokum throws a little flip up, trying to get it to turn over a little bit more. Super straight up the middle for Jen. That looks like a mid-range. Catches the last tree, but she'll be inside the circle. I actually hit the leg of that horse, and it was one of the funnier things <laughs> I've ever hit on a That's disc funny, horse. yeah. <laughs> Did it make like a cool sound? Yeah, it made a, a dong. It's metal, so it made like a dong sound. Not a, it did not neigh. <laughs> <laughs> Katrina with the forehand approach looking super smooth. Yeah, she's scrambling a bit there. It's going to be a little bit of a tester, but she's been knocking down her putts lately. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Hokum has that ground play down really nice. Yeah, this a lot of these courses you kind of just have to keep it low to the ground and it'll slide up these rocky greens. Yeah. Ooh, big putt there. Nice, Jen. Get the confidence up after hole one. Yep. What a great bounce back. Mm. Oh, no, Paige. A little uncharacteristic. Paige usually knocks those down, but it's okay. She still gets the par. Even though this was the easiest hole on the course, according to the UDisc Live app, there was only three birdies. Right. It's Just surprising. a lot of pars. Um only um Not just so, just over 10 percent above par on this hole um but yeah mostly threes and a, f a couple i would have thought there was so many more birdies yeah you're right because this one is so gettable but you really have to lace it there's like you said three really good birdies today in the fpo division vanessa van dyken we saw jen allen and hannah Macbeth was the third one awesome I like this hole a lot too. This is a fun hole. You can go wide to the left, wide to the right. Um, a lot of wind here. Really a fun one to run for the birdie. Yeah, you can, if you go short, there's OB flags that kind of wrap around those tree that is basically the water. And if you go deep, there's a sidewalk. It's kind of a touchy hole. You really have to have a lot of distance control. Um, like Lisa said, you can go the forehand to the left around the tree or the backhand to the right and work the skip. Um, the wind was, uh, a little bit head cross and it made it really tough to decide what to do jen's going super safe turns it over but she will be safe over there yeah luckily her distance control was on she didn't get too far down there the and and run ob screaming. yeah i've heard that if the flag is straight out like that that it's at least 25 mile per hour oh cool that's interesting yeah it was extreme wind conditions today um super gusty so yeah it sounds about right 20 25 or higher mm -hmm. If you go out of bounds, there's a drop zone over to the left behind that big tree. It's kind of a mean drop zone. Uh, that's a tough one. Um, it's a fun one to try. It's tough to like from that flick to lay it way over the water with this extreme wind. Sure um, Your disc is always getting pushed towards that tree. But then again, the, um, the backhand is so hard too because that wind you see is just pushing it away. Even on Cat's Heiser, um, but she'll have a putt there. Doesn't quite get the skip that we were getting in practice, that's for sure, on that, on yeah. that backhand Heiser. And this is an interesting drop zone, too. You play over the water here. Nice little pitch up there. Tough with the forehand to try to get it to lay down with that. Cross. It is tough. It's such a fast um, uh, play. So, yeah, you get a little ground action there. Nice like, up. That looks like Jen just seating the layup. Paige looking for the big two here and a smart layup. Yeah, no one, I, I wouldn't want to mess around on this. <laughs> so much action. Showing her smart play there. Oh, that no. was a good run. 
This hole just seems so straightforward, but it's so easy to get away from you. Oh, solid. Really nice putt from Katrina. Super solid birdie. It's a good way to start your round. Hook, I'm having a little trouble on hole three, but it's still early. With this end of a course, there's so much golf left. It is such a long course. <laughs> there's so many ways that you can mess up <laughs> or save birdies. All right, moving on to hole four. This is a fun 357-foot hole. It's got a couple different options here off the tee, kind of that big pop-up hyzer on the right side, or some players do a big anhyzer, go down the middle. Uh, this basket was moved a little bit shorter from last year, uh, from on top of the mound by the tree there. Um, this is, yeah, just kind of a straightforward, get it out there on the drive hole. Yeah, there's some small trees to contend with. Um, see, Kat's going to go over the top of them and say, yeah, I don't want those in play at that's all. That's a pretty popular line right there. You're using the wind that's uh, right to left. Ooh, tombstone. Wow, okay. <laughs> she gets <laughs> way down Not there. bad. It looks like it got carried from right to left, but I think that's just the camera angle. That was and, actually a really nice shot. And Jen, again, with that right to left wind, that's going to push the disc really nicely towards the pin. Oh my gosh, two tombstones. <laughs> That's like a graveyard cool. Out there. <laughs> yeah, it's a graveyard. <laughs> Never really seen that before. Me neither. <laughs> That's awesome. And then um, the alternate straight up the gut route. Um, Paige is really, a, really good at that flip wow, up shot. That is such a She's good shot. She's got that dialed. And then we're going to see probably that wide hyzer route from the flick here, but more of a straight one. Nice control there. And good it's distance. It's really impressive to see these ladies even getting close to circle's edge with this wind. It was tough to get out of that gap and let your disc carry the way you want it to. Mm -hmm. Solid run from Hokum. It's really important to like make sure you're picking the right disc in these conditions and being really careful with your lines uh, and executing that. Um, it's just your. Um, First, we can like flip up really high in the air and kind of get carried away. Ooh, she snuck it in the bucket. Nice. <laughs> right over the edge. Dang. <laughs> I, uh, I gotta give credit to uh, Big Germ Jeremy Coling. Woot woot. <laughs> Give me permission to use his <laughs> shout out there. His phrase. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Debuted in round two of the Men's Pro Open coverage. Paige with the really nice birdie. That feels really good in that wind. Katrina lays up her putt. Um, that kind of surprises me. It, there is OB behind the basket, but and it, it, I would say that is a smart play, but I know she can make that putt. Yeah, definitely. She was being real conservative there. There's roll away possibility. Totally. She, did, she did not want to mess with that at all. Yep. Um, hole five is one of the longer holes, 606. Um, once you get closer to the pin here, there is a hazard uh, sand trap, and then the big green right there is OB, but not the fringe part of it, just the middle darker green, which is still most of it. <laughs> uh, and then right behind the basket, there's OB as well on the street. And that OB behind the basket is tight. It's downhill towards the OB, so it- Yeah, it, it's, yeah it's the basket's on the mound, so you get a lot of like little spitty things, or if you go a little fast on your upshot, um, it, it plays really close. Off the tee, there's a couple different options. There's an OB sidewalk on the right, and, and you'll see uh, Jennifer, and it looks like Paige is lining it up as, as well to go up that right route. You kind of have to hang your disc over OB and hope it's hyzer's back. The wind was making it a little bit of a scary play, but if you're throwing an overstable disc, it's definitely doable. It's a little tighter than it looks, a little more low ceiling than it looks, um, but it looks like most of these ladies are picking that route. Mm-hmm. Really good pull from Katrina. She got really good follow through on that. You're just getting every bit of the distance that you can get out of this shot. Mm -hmm. comes. It's a little tougher with this forehand route, I, I think. But I mean, you can tough, you can make it work. She definitely did. She kind of picked a middle gap. There's an Anheuser gap you can do as well, and um, Hokum did the forehand route up that gap and made it work. Mm -hmm. She'll have a little bit of a longer approach to the green, but nothing she can't reach. 
That just snuck past the OB nicely and needs to sit though. Nice. No problem. She'll be inside the circle. I yeah. Think. God, she can crush a sidearm. I know that that finished really nicely. And Katrina needs she, to sit. She bails off left. That's a safe play. Yeah, it's pretty um, smart. There's a wall right there that kind of protects you, and there's no OB right yep. there. Another flip up straight, but it got carried away just a bit. Paige has so much power. Ooh, definitely um, got some wind bounce action, but it looks like she might have turned that over a little more than she wanted to. Yeah, you kind of saw her body. It kind of pulled on it a little bit. Jen looks like she's only about mm. 150 feet out. Slightly a early release there, but um, safe and probably, yeah. It's so scary to throw those little 150 foot shots in wind like this, because you need to throw it soft so you don't zoom past, but you want to give it enough spin that it doesn't get carried away by the wind. So it's kind of this weird touchy in between. Yeah, definitely. I've been messing with the Cayman and, and the AVR X3 for those shots. Um, those are really fun to play with in the wind. Yeah, you can definitely rely on some skip. Huge birdie putt from Katrina. Dang, wow. Awesome putt. putt. It's an elevated basket, so it's not an easy putt. She makes it look Yeah, I like how is. Katrina shows no fear on her putts. She just goes for it. And she's been hitting them lately. It's so impressive. Yeah, that's a great birdie. Jen had a similar look. It was a really tough lie. Only three birdies on the day from this card. I mean, this whole... My first real course was with Lamet Park in Corvallis, Oregon, and I played with my dad. We kind of got into it together. For me, it was Eric Johnson at Leverage Park. For me, it was my childhood friends, the Dory family. We played Edora Park in Fort Collins, Colorado. Moving on to the shortest hole on the course, but also one of the scariest. Yeah, everyone's favorite hole. <laughs> hole six. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> 220. I asked everyone. They said it was their favorite. <laughs> um, this is like an island hole, so there's OB everywhere. Um, long, short, left, right. You got to be pinpoint accurate. Mm -hmm. And there is that gusting wind yes. that you are dealing with. So grab maybe a really stable... Um, mid-range? What's Yeah, grab your most stable putter or mid-range is my advice and try to throw a little bit downwards because you're actually on an elevated pin. Oh, wow, that just barely carries like OB. She, yeah, That's she threw it a little crazy. higher than I'm sure she Yeah, exactly. Do. So, like, if you have that downward angle, um, it's, it's naturally going to rise a little bit. There you go. Even that's kind of carrying a little long. Oh. Yeah. Um, you kind of have to lob it instead of throw it. You sort of mm -hmm. just, like, Throw it down and let it carry yeah. with gravity. Yeah, because you're kind of playing for a skip um, as well. Hook and work in the forehand, not a route we see very often. I did watch Jeremy Colling throw it as well. That is a really tough one. That is so tough. Yes. Yeah. Especially mm. with that headwind. Yeah, you really have to commit super wide on that, and it's hard to do. It's just... Oh, no. it's That water just gets into your subconscious. I believe that's <laughs> considered safe. Yeah, she gets the green flag there. <laughs> yeah. Funny noise. Uh, she crashes into those palms right there. We can't see her. Oh, uh, good out. Yeah, clean out. <laughs> it's probably a good play to crash in short if you're going to crash. You know, it does, you know, produce a par usually. So that's so we'll, we'll decent. Watch, yeah, we'll watch the other three ladies go from the drop zone and looks like they're laying it up. It kind of surprises me. Um, yeah, you know, if you're not feeling it, you, you should, probably shouldn't go for it, but... I'm team no layup for life. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> um, yeah, if you did a little walk around, it's there's actually a little bit more room than um, than first first thought. Um, for me, I, I, I don't know, I thought it was a little closer to the edge, but you got a little bit of space back there yeah, to play with, so... Um, Surprising that we get a few a handful of bogeys on this lead card. Um, there definitely. were only five twos on the day on this uh this short hole which is surprising but man that, that <laughs> water really does get into your head totally um only 29 percent of the field ended up in par a lot of bogeys are more wow over half of the field bogey that's yeah so it is a little surprising so this i would say this next hole is the hardest hole in the course in my opinion i don't know how it plays second most difficult hole according to you this i think it is definitely yeah so the tee shot is super scary you're basically having to hyzer over water the whole way towards an out of bounds sidewalk 
Um, if you really rip on it, you can reach that green. Um, and you won't see many ladies attacking the actual green of the basket. Um, the golf green is the only green that's going to come into play on our first shot. You really have to trust your disc to hyzer. Um, because if it skips too much on that grass, it'll go out of bounds to the pa left. Paige has that shot really dialed. Um, that, very straight. That super straight hyzer flip. It's With a nice gentle finish. Yeah, I love it. That's hard to do. Um, get that gentle finish, and that's perfect for the shot. Trina throwing a little bit bigger of a hyzer. Yeah, she likes to go a little higher in the air. It gets that hyzer flip. She gets a good little bounce there and stays safe. Really trust that disc. Yeah, she's throwing that green one so good. I think it's a D1, maybe, maybe a D2. I'll have to ask her. Jen gets over the oh, top Oh, yeah, Jen gets a little extra rotation there, and oh. it just carries long on her. Almost came back safe. So that wind, you can see, was just pushing towards the water the whole time. Yeah, once you show the underside of the disc to the wind, it's pretty Wow, Hokum is going um, flick here, which, again, is, like, so hard to do, but she um, turns it nicely. Doesn't quite get back. Maybe it does. Mm. Oh, wow. Wow, by the curb. That is brutal. Super close. That's, she put a lot of action on that disc. It, yeah. Definitely. It's nice to see her working her new disc the way I know she was working her disc that she knows really well. So it's cool yeah, that she's that's figuring true. it out. It's definitely definitely an adjustment period. So she's a good player and she'll definitely um, oh, no. figure figure things out. Gosh, that's tough. From OB to OB is uh, I know. Fun. This hole is, that's why it's so hard. Yeah, so the basket is doesn't even have a full Ooh, circle around it. I think that got away from her a little bit, got a little high. The basket doesn't even have a full circle around it. Um, Obi is uh, really close on all yeah. sides, and behind the basket, it drops off really sharp towards an Obi sidewalk. Yeah. It is not a friendly green. And Paige sets herself up for the birdie. Such a good upshot there. Cat's looking to do the same. Um, oh, unfortunate, no. just skips a little straighter than she wanted into that sand trap. She's going to be um, taking it from the hazard there with a penalty stroke. That's a tough one. Putting it um, from that sand is really hard, I've found. Um, sure the sand gives so much, it's hard to find your footing. And especially when you're putting, trying to go like up when you're down trying to put up. And into a headwind? Yeah, it's look. like, wow, it's so difficult. You don't really practice that ever um, too much. And yeah, since the sand gives a little bit, it makes it a little harder. Katrina catches high left and it still stays, which is awesome. Yeah, good hit. It's so hard to put uphill into a headwind. It is just, you don't even know really what to do with your disc. You're like, do I aim low and possibly hit the cage? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think not super happy with the double bogeys from these lead card ladies but we are moving off of the hardest hole and onto something a little bit more forgiving not as much ob by a long shot uh there's the ob sidewalk left um way far left it's downhill 427 feet it plays about that long even though it's pretty far downhill um, the tee pad's kind of tucked back in a flat area and you have to project forward flat before it goes downhill and then we also had a screaming left to right crosswind, which is not ideal for the Annie shot that we're trying to, you know, flex all the way down to the basket. But look at that mountain. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> beautiful views for sure out here on this hole. Uh, it's definitely a lot of trust that you need since you can't really see the fairway. Um, you can see Paige kind of flipped it a little bit and the wind pushes it right into those weeping willows on the right side. You're gonna see a lot of ladies doing that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> redirect. <laughs> a little bounce out there. Kind of helped her. That wind was insane. At this point in the round, it was really cold, and I made the mistake of looking in that backyard, and there was a really <laughs> nice-looking hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> it was. <laughs> yeah. It was steamy. Yeah, it was. She didn't get some really nice uh, bounces down there, and she's going to be close to Circle's Edge with a putt. Really impressive. Uh, yeah, that was huge. I like the flick route here. You can really lay it out to the left and trust it to just work back. The wind got a hold of it, but she got way down the fairway. Katrina, looks like it came out a little early. She's got a, um, maybe a 20 footer or so. 
And Paige is a little bit late on that release. Carries longer than she wanted. Ooh. For whatever reason, this screen, I feel like the wind was so... It was just much more noticeable than a lot of Maybe a little screens. tunnely. Yeah. I found it to be really touchy. Um, Ooh. Oh, she gets um, safe there by straddling the OB line. But yeah, I thought this was real touchy. Um, this upshot was... It's like right there in front of you, but for some reason, with that high wind, it's just, um, it's tough to get it close. I'm surprised Jen didn't run at that a little bit with that birdie look. But um, after her, after her putt, there, and Paige, there were no birdies on the field. Paige talking it over with Grady, and they decided to lay up as well. Yeah, this is playing as one of the hardest holes today. Wow, big birdie, or excuse me, big par putt there from Snuck Katrina. Snuck it in the bucket again. <laughs> Snuck it in the bucket. Sweet. That's the best way to do it on these windy days. Just, just get it right over the edge of the basket. Moving into the final hole of the front nine, we've still got Paige leading by a, a small margin of only two strokes now. Katrina right on her tail. Um, Jennifer, two strokes back from that, and Hokum kind of fading a little bit, having a, struggling a little bit in the mm -hmm. wind. It looks like you were moving up on that leaderboard too. I saw your name there. Good jump up. I had an okay front nine. There you go. For five, but everything else is very smooth. Back on track. Yeah. <laughs> Hole nine of 601, par four. Um, this wanna... hole's tough too. Yeah, this hole's tough, a little tunnely on your drive. You want to get a nice um, rip and just get clean out there. Uh, if, if you pull it over to the right, though, you might find OB over a cart path if you really get a hold of it to the right. Yeah, there's kind of a lot of trouble you can get in, surprisingly, on this tee shot. You have to really throw it right down the middle. You can get tangled up in the trees on the right and left. And if you throw it too far and with no hyzer, um, there's some trees on the right all the way on the other side of the fairway that are not fun to be in. Yeah, there's a backyard you can even find if you really get out of control. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Jen plays the hyzer. She's wide open, no problem with her next shot. The wind was whipping on this tee pad too, right next to that last basket. It really was a tunnel in there. Oof, Paige catches a little bit of limb, but gets out cleanly still. Yeah, nice filter. I'm come looking at a route that I have not seen any wow. take. Wow. Yeah, this is different. I saw Germ talking about wow, it. Wow, okay, the sidearm route. Interesting. I don't. That's creative for sure. I, I don't, don't know. see where it came out. Yeah, I don't see either. It must have got tangled up there. But knowing Hokum's smart play, she's tried it before and it's hmm. worked out. Yeah. Yeah, let's she's, gotta look. Yeah. I mean, it's par four. She can still get up and down there. Yeah, it looks like she's just playing mm -hmm. this conservatively, trying to just bite it off a little bit at a time. Mm -hmm. There is a sand trap uh, behind the basket that comes into play. Um, it is close. It is really close. It's in the circle. And <clears throat> yeah, it's Katrina just really also tough. not playing aggressive, just trying to avoid the out-of-bounds and get <laughs> it out in the open. I don't know if that was on purpose, but it seems like she's been playing pretty conservatively, which is the smart move on yeah, this windy day. It's a good way to air on this hole, just like being way safe. <laughs> so your upshot's a lot shorter. But Wow, Paige, that is a sweet. beautiful approach. Nice. She'll have a tap in for three. Yeah, sweet. Jen throwing her second shot. She gets over it <sighs> on top of it Get again. long. Mm. <sighs> Finds one of the bumps on this lumpy sand trap. <laughs> She'll be in there for a hazard. Hokum throwing her third shot up so she can hopefully save her par. Nicely done. Big news is just checking the stats, and it looks like Jessica Weiss got a two on this. Yeah, a huge eagle throw in from Jessica. Oh my gosh, how far away did she throw it in from? I heard it was over 200 feet. Oh my gosh, um, that was impressive in this wind. Yeah, and I heard it was on film too, so. Yes. Um, Terry Miller caught that one, Keep I believe. An eye out for that. Yeah, that should be somewhere online. Hokum looking to save the par here. A little further away than I'm sure she likes, but Ooh, no problem. Good hit. That feels good. Yeah, super good cleanup there. Yeah, the rough little stretch, bogey, double bogey, bogey. She's ready to move on, get for back sure. to her game. Yeah, this, this course is playing really tough today for all the players. 
Katrina's sizing this up. I see a lot of focus there. But, oh man, that just barely gets away from her and she's paying a double penalty there by going OB. That's a huge mistake. You never, you don't see that very much from Katrina. Definitely not this year. No. Um, such a, a solid, consistent player on tour. Makes a comeback no problem. But no one likes to get a double bogey. She's a bummed. Yeah, that was a that was a big swing for her there. Paige now with a five stroke lead over the rest of the women on Wow, the, yeah, she is on fire right lead. now. Just really continuing her streak from last year. Reminding me of world. <laughs> yeah, no no doubt. Yeah, she's throwing really awesome. So um, guys, uh, make sure to tune in for the back nine. Um, things are just starting to get exciting. Uh, make sure you subscribe and thank you to the PDGA and to Innova for the coverage and to Jomez for getting out there early in the morning with us yeah. in cold wind. See you guys on the back nine.